Hi, I'm Dr. Cindy Smith, and I wanted to respond to the question today about how big of a pollinator patch makes a difference. If you look here, this is an old raised, raised garden bed that the people aren't using anymore. In this particular bed, we have two plants that I'm watching today. This is purple coneflower, and if you'll notice, we've got skipper butterflies. There were up to 10 earlier today. We've got monarchs coming in, monarchs coming in, um, happily feeding. Um, over here, which is interesting, I love these folks here. This is a crab spider. Um, they're known to change their color on yellow flowers. They can match yellow and white flowers, kind of conspicuous. Butterflies were landing and it was grabbing, reaching for them. Um, but we've also got in this bed, there are different larvae eating. We've got um, this, some people think is a weed, daisy fleabane second plant. This has been full of tiny bees and tiny flies all morning feeding. Um, there are a number of little larvae that like to eat these petals and oh look we got something good going on. Is the crab spider going to grab the skipper? Go in close. Oh he got blocked by a painted lady butterfly there. Anyway back it out you can see Pollinator patch can be as small as one or two plants and look at the biodiversity that shows up. Five species of butterfly we've got running around. Anyway, it can be that small and you're helping the environment. Dr. Cindy Smith.